Ladies and gentlemen, I am free from YouTube prison and welcome back to ah! Does everything have to be disastrous for offenses every time I start these videos? Nevertheless, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for your 2023 NFL Week 3 game. I like commentary. Down to Miami, Tua Tongue on the areola finds Tyreek Hill, who goes into the end zone, wide open, touchdown. The Dolphins are in front. Mans is dancing with the fans. Get your hand out of my socket! Meanwhile, to where Wrangler jeans are banned, Levi Stadium, here comes Pewter City gym leader Brock Purdy, taken down for a sack. Where the fuck was Brandon McManus kicking the field goal to? Wide to the right, not even close. Then Evan McPherson would say, I can do even worse. Kicks it wide to the left, no good in Cincinnati. And these nincompoops over here cheering like he ain't just miss a field goal. Stupid. To Lambeau Field we go, fourth and one for the Packers. Time for a little bit of trickery. I dropped it. Watch out for that banana. <laughs> Pass sales incomplete. Turnover on down. The fuck was that? I wonder what Desmond the Riddler Ritter is up to. Oh, shit! Rematch of Super Bowl 56 in prime time. Ballerinas grab your 2-2 Atwells on the end around reverse all the way into the end zone for the Gandatsa! Although the touchdown did appear to be amazing, Buddy's foot stepped out of its so much pain. The football would be spotted at the two and a half yard line and on the very next play, Stafford's getting harassed. Fourth and two for the Philadelphia Eagles, but they're participating in the Frank Costanza challenge, cuz. Hmm, I stopped short. Hey, look, guys, Desmond Ritter still trying to throw the football. Help! Help! Police! And now go, Chargers, go. Kirk family member Cousins takes the snap, third and eight. Looking over the middle, he's got Hawkinson, but he's stripped of the football. The Los Angeles Android Chargers take it away. In the land of AEW, Damian doesn't shit himself during games because he's not Paul Pierce. Goes into the end zone for the score. Houston takes the lead. How fitting, porn star Jimmy G makes his way to Las Vegas. I'm sure his penis never been flaccid. Looking towards the end zone, got Devontae Adams activating his dreadlock powers. Touchdown, Ray as they take the lead. Fun fact, Kansas City's offense has not scored a point this entire season in the first quarter. Until now, as Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes shovel passes it over the middle to Jarek McKinnon, who goes into the end zone for the score, and it's too easy for Mahomes. Why? Because it's free real estate. New Orleans on the move inside the 10. Derek Vehicle looking over the middle. He's got Jimmy Graham in the end zone for the score. And for the first time since rejoining the New Orleans Saints, he has a score on his former squad, the Green Bay Packers. Man's really became an NFL prostitute. Running back University on the move. Second and six. You already know he's keeping it. Lamar Action Jackson on the move into the end zone for the score. Ravens have the lead. Devon! Get the touchdowns. A chain gets the handoff into the end zone. He goes touchdown Dolphins. They lead by two scores. Out to Las Vegas we go and Kenny Pickett looking completely different. Launches it down the field. Got Calvin Austin who goes into the end zone. First touchdown of his career. Tie game seven all. Get it! The used tampon colored Cardinal jerseys are inside the 10 yard line. Hand off to James Fuck Cancer Connor. Goes into the end zone for the score. But for whatever reason, the Cardinals decided to take out their Uno cards and attempt to give the Cowboys two for their mistakes. It would fail. Nine point lead. Over in Meth Life Stadium. Who sacked Zach Wilson? What kind of poltergeist took this man to the ground? Ain't nobody touch him. He's trash. Fire him. Hut hut. Fuck you, Jimmy. Well, damn, T.J. Watt was in this man jockstrap like an adult film star. Fifth sack of the season. Hey, you could have saw this early and ad-free if you became a member on my Patreon. And I'm doing something special this season. I'm doing two additional videos exclusively on Patreon. I'm continuing the Super Bowl series, and I'm picking out one college football game every single week to do commentary on. So make sure you click the link in my description and become a member on my Patreon. To the nation's capital we go. Here comes Sam Howell looking down the field. He's got a man. Wahoo! But he plays for the other team pass intercepted by the bills next dealers drive kenny's looking to put the pick in picket i dropped it marcus peters drops what would have easily been a pick six and i know for a fact he on the sideline asking himself what happened to my hands 
with AR5 still injured. 70s porn star mustache guard to Minshew still under assault. He sacked by Kyle Hamilton again. That's twice in the first quarter. What the hell is Dallas doing? Two weeks of dominance against New York teams only to step out here and get cooked by the Cardinals. You can't convince me Justin Field actually wants to play quarterback. Mans refuses to throw the football. I mean, they ain't protecting him either, but one way or another, he sucks. And now go Chargers, go. Justin Herbert from Family Guy takes the snap, looking towards his right. He's got Parham, goes into the end zone for the score. Chargers are in front. Philly's defensive line filled with absolute hyenas. Baker Mayfield can't even breathe without being under siege. Meanwhile, over in who the hell uses M&T Bank Stadium, Lamar Jackson dumps it off to Kenyon. Drake, Drake, Drake. But our fingers stripped from behind. Indianapolis takes the football away. Over in Seattle, game tied at three. Look at Andy Dalton get speared into the goddamn turf. Turn that man into a worm. Steelers on the move on third and four, but Mad Max has different plans. Takes down Kenny Pickett. Somebody tell Deshaun Watson to stop leaving lubricant on the football when he leaves the massage parlor because the Browns get beat. Be but her fingers fumble on the play, scooped up by the Titans. Broncos country. Let's ride. Russell Wilson takes the snap, rolling towards his right. He's got Cortland Sutton wide open in the end zone for the score. Denver cuts their deficit in half. Think fast to the nation's capital we go. Josh, the inferior Allen, looking towards his left. He's got Pride Month sponsored Gabriel Davis, who goes into the end zone for the score. Touchdown, Bills. The hell's wrong with Daniel Jones? Why does he look so scared? Hot, hot. Why are you running? Damn. Daniel? How fitting. Big Blue, Vote Blue, Bosa don't like you. I think we can all come to a consensus that Cowboys fans should talk less because they're getting Rondell Moore all the way into the end zone for the score and the Cardinals lead by two scores again. Why do the Cardinals keep trying to give the Cowboys two for their mistakes? Dobbs pass sales incomplete, no good. No, 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 no. You don't tell me what to do. It's still early in the game. I say whatever I want. We gonna come back. We didn't move. And now go Chargers, go. Final play of the first quarter. Kurt family member Cousins got absolutely nowhere to go. Homie is having a bad time back there. Are they gonna protect him at all this season? What's going on with Derek's vehicle? <laughs> That MILF hunter motherfucker Zach Wilson continues to do absolutely nothing. Get rid of the football, stupid! Fire this man! Fire that man! Over in the nation's capital, second and one, Washington finally looking to do something. Sam Howe done pulled out the jukes, making all kinds of bills miss. Looking like me against my student loans, he's gonna take it to the five yard line. But much to their chagrin, he did all this just for a turnover on downs on this drive. But when you look at that guy, you go, oh, oh. he looks like he weighs about 200 pounds from the waist down. Just big, thick. Hey, what? You said what? Second and 11 for Geno Smith. Ah! Porn star Jimmy G travels around Las Vegas giving out penis, but also giving apple turnovers. Pass intercepted by Levi Wallace. Pittsburgh takes the football away. Come on out, you rapist. Deshaun Watson under duress, but clicks the wrong button on his controller. Mans threw the football backwards. I thought Post Nut was supposed to give you clarity, but the happy endings is not working well for him. What did this man think he was about to do? This is not Madden. Fucking retard. Brandon McMahon is trying another field goal. I blocked it. It's blocked by Houston. A scramble for the football. <laughs> Bitch. Texans ball to Meth Life Stadium. We go play action fake for Mac Jones, looking like Moses because he told Pharaoh Brown to let my people go all the way into the end zone for the score. New England leads by 10. The Kansas City Hobbit on the move, handoff to Clyde Edwards Hilaire, fights his way into the end zone for the score. Kansas City leads 14 to 0. Is that Taylor Swift? And why is she sitting next to Donna Kelsey? What kind of love story is this? Is she trying to tell Travis? that you belong with me all those ex-boyfriends she made songs about we knew she was trouble when she walked in forget running back university this is injury reserve university as well lamar jackson got no help back to lambeau field we go pack is having to give it back to the saints after the offense is still doing a whole lot of nothing rashid shaheed fields it at the 25 yard line got a whole lot of packers looking stupid off to the races mans went untouched 75 yards into the end zone for the score 
more, and the Saints lead 14 to 0. Back in America's Peninsula, look at Tua Tongue on an areola. No look, shovel pass to Devon. Get the touchdowns. A chain goes into the end zone for the score, his second on the day, and the Dolphins lead by 14. Wait a minute, have you ever wanted a shout out from the Chiseled Adonis himself? I've done nearly 400 cameos and I've got over 145 star reviews. So if you ever needed a shout out for your birthday, anniversary, maybe you got a new job, maybe you just wanna send some love to somebody. Perhaps you want me to roast you or somebody else or maybe even announce the order of your fantasy football league draft. One way or another, book me on Cameo. Get your shout out today. The link is in the description. Everybody in the 313. Nobody's playing defense in the porta potty. Sam Laporta wide open down the field for the score. Detroit takes the lead. Where the hell was the defense? Massage parlor Poppy takes the snap first and 10 from the 20. Looking towards his left. He's got that Ford focus wide open in the end zone for the score. Browns take the lead. But look at how the graphics team fucked up. They said the score was attributed to... Taki Taki, Taki Taki Rumba. Pewter City gym leader Brock Purdy continues to impress. Looking towards his left, got his man in the end zone for the score. 49 is in front. He's still undefeated in every game he's played in that he's healthy. NFC Championship, he was knocked out the game, so you can't even give the L to him. And yes, he came back in, but he only had one arm. In fact, I don't even think he threw a pass attempt. And now, no charges, no. The purple people eaters on the move. Kirk family member looking towards his left. He's got his man in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. They even the score at seven apiece. Hit the music. And I'm so icy, so icy. Back to AEW we go. Stroud looking into the end zone. He finds his man for the score. 14 point lead for the Texans. And all you had to do was find Breverin Jordan, CJ. How many times is Daniel Jones gonna look at the 49ers defense with absolute fear? Third and two. Damn, Daniel. He's sacked again. 70s porn star mustache Gardner Minshew floats it towards the end zone. Zach Moss tells Patrick Queen to hold his nuggets and suck his dick. Touchdown Colts. Look at the man make true to the last name. Get Moss, pussy. And now no charges, no. Despite taking seven booster shots, look like the COVID still persists for the Chargers because they are uh, 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 coughing up the ball, fumble on the play, scooped up by the Vikings. The same fate would happen to the Ravens because Lamar is immediately stripped of the football. Homie didn't even have no time to react. The Colts take it away. Here come the boy. Dick takes the snap, looking to dump it off to Rico Dwaddle. He's got a couple blockers out in front, fights his way into the end zone for the score. The Cowboys have cut their deficit. What I tell you, what I tell you, we not gonna be down for long. We there, boy. We making a comeback. Red Rifle Andy Dalton takes the snap, looking towards his left. He's got DJ Shark wide open. Give me your ankles, pussy! Spin move into the end zone for the score. Carolina takes the lead. DJ, spin that shit! Baby shark, do -do 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 -do, baby shark. Fourth and one for the Miami Dolphins, but they're participating in the Frank Costanza Challenge. They'd be stopped short. Look at Denver's defense going to work. I expect to see more of this. Look at Tannehill absolutely under duress. He's going to be taken down for a sack. The defensive player of the year is a three-man race. It's TJ, Miles, and Micah. Look at Gino out there making breakfast. Unfortunately, it's Apple. Turnovers pass intercepted by the Cardinals. Think fast. Pittsburgh on the move. Kenny! Pickett gonna use his feet, but look at George Pickens. Look at George Pickens. The hell is that man doing? Really a child on the football field, doing the most unnecessary things. What were you looking to accomplish here? Under four minutes left to go in the first half. Stafford out here throwing side arms, interceptions. Cooper Cup ain't on the field no more, pussy. Logan Wilson with his first interception of the day. No way he catches another one, right? Meanwhile, in Tampa Bay on America's Peninsula, Jalen Hurts got all kinds of time in the pocket. Launches it down the field. He's got Zacchaeus wide open. Goes into the end zone for the score. Philly is in front. Over in Baltimore, one of the funniest sequences I've ever seen. The Colts trying to catch the Ravens slipping by substituting their special teams unit for their offense underneath the Ravens' nose. But John Harbaugh knows the fucking rule book, so he trots out a defensive lineman oh so slowly so that the Colts would get a delay of game. 
This was so genius, they didn't even have to use a timeout. Harbaugh ain't been coaching for 16 years for no damn reason. You got me now, all you figured me out. You got me red-handed. You got me red-handed. The Kansas City bloods in the Sioux Whoop zone. Patrick Grimm to Frog Mahomes looking towards his left. Got Jarek McKinnon who goes into the end zone for the score. 21 to 0. Chiefs cooking the Bears. And it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes. Why? Because it's free real estate. Look at Taylor Swift up in the box clapping her hands. I hope she gets used to that sound because Travis Kelsey going to clap her cheek. Very next play from scrimmage. How is this the fifth pass attempt for the Chicago Bears? That's ridiculous. And they still got the beat beat. But her fingers fumble on the play. Scooped up by Kansas City. They get the football right back. But hot. Terrible snap, skips right past Lamar Jackson. The Ravens are having a terrible day. Cleveland looking to pour it on. Massage parlor poppy. Deshaun Watson looking towards his left. He's got Armani, Armani exchange Cooper making all kinds of Titans miss, but they ruled him out of boots after the catch. He was robbed of a touchdown because where did this man's foot step out of bounds? Referees blowing plays dead early. Gotta be one of the worst experiences for anybody in the NFL. I hope the officials Get fine, Tampa Bay pastry chef Baker Mayfield in the kitchen cooking apple turnovers. Pass intercepted by the Eagles. Can somebody explain to me just what the hell this man is doing in Washington? Homie combed his hair over, put on his favorite pair of cargo shorts just to ride the pole in the stadium. Somebody come get their father. Imagine your first time on television. You out here straddling steel. I bet he can feel the chill of the railing betwixt his butt cheek. And now it's going to stink when everybody leaving. It appears George Kittle is playing rock, paper, scissors with us, and he chose lesbian. Scissor me, daddy! The Dolphins on the move, hand off to Raheem Mostert, slips betwixt a very small hole, finds his seam, takes it into the end zone for the score, and Miami leads by three scores. That Denver defense ain't doing nothing. I almost forgot to check on Desmond Ritter. Help me. Help me. Remember the fumble on the last Chicago drive? How about a ricochet interception on the next? Kansas City takes the ball away again. Broncos looking to respond. Russell Wilson takes the snap, looking towards his left. He's got Sutton, but he's got me. But her fingers fumble on the play, scooped up by the Dolphins. Denver looks like absolute trash, and the Dolphins take over inside the five. It's time for Blue Eyes White Privilege. Hand off to run CMC. McCaffrey goes into the end zone. For the 12th consecutive game, touchdown 49ers. They lead by two scores, and he's been cooking ever since he's been a toddler. McCaffrey was making plays on NFL field since his dad was in the league, making sure the world knew that when he is the football, it's white power, white power, white power. That's how a white man runs a football. Very next play after the fumble recovery, Mostert takes it into the end zone for the score. Miami leads 35 to 10. She like the way that I dance. She like the way that I move. She like the way that I rock. She like the way that I woo. The necrophilia has begun in Miami because the Broncos may be dead, but somehow they're still getting fucked. All right, and nobody's blocking. <laughs> Washington not having a good time. Howell's pass is intercepted by Micah Hyde, Micah Hyde, Hyde Jekyll. And the Bills are dominating the Commanders. Here comes Mr. Sunshine. Trevor Lawrence takes the snap, looking towards his left. He's got his man, but he's got me. But up, fingers, fumble on the play, scooped up by the Texans. How many teams are fumbling today? What's going on? Hey, you ever want to updates on all things Chiseled Adonis? Perhaps info on new merch, info on exclusive content dropping, maybe even joining sweepstakes so you can participate in giveaways. Make sure you subscribe to my brand new newsletter where I'm providing value two to three times per week. The link is in the description and also in the top pinned comment. The Kansas City Bloods in the Sioux Whoop Zone. Hand off into the end zone for Pacheco. Touchdown, 31 to zero. The necrophilia challenge begins out in Kansas City because the Chicago Bears may be dead. But they too keep getting fucked. I won't go back to prison. My butt all can't shake that abuse. It's Sylvester, look out behind you. 
porn star Jimmy G seems to be the one getting fucked. TJ Watt gets his second sack of the day. Look at that fat man getting some additional cardio in. Get back to the other side of the field, stupid. And now go Chargers, go. The Los Angeles Apple Chargers in the period colored zone. Jay Herbo looking over the middle. He's got his man for another touchdown. That's Parham second. And the Chargers are back in front. In the midst of double coverage of Monday night, Jalen Hurts had his balls confiscated like Bruce Jenner, intercepted by the Bucks. Third and nine for porn star mustache. God, with a spear of Jeff Hardy. Third sack of the half for Kyle Hamilton. Gardner Minshew's getting destroyed out there. Tampa Bay trying to build momentum after catching the interception, but Baker Mayfield's got nowhere to go. Look at Olave doing a magnificent one-hand catch to put the Saints in field goal range. Very next play following the sack, although the pastry chef Baker Mayfield wasn't the cause, they're still cooking apple turnovers. Fumble recovered by the Eagles. They get the football right back after two plays. 13 seconds remain before the break. Miles Garrett doesn't give a shit. Second sack of the day. That's a grown man right there. And just before halftime, Trent Williams over here punching defensive linemen for no goddamn reason. What's the matter with this man? Almighty push. 62-yard field goal attempt for Long Boot Poppy. 39-year-old Matt Prater puts it through the uprights, and it's good. Cardinals lead by 11 going into halftime. Last play of the first half. What can Ritter do? Oh, my God, he escaped the rush. I forgot to tell you. Alive! He's getting fucked up out there, fam. To the second half we go. Here comes Green Bay, third and 14. Where's Love going with the football? Down the field. Give me that. Into the hands of a New Orleans Saint. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ah! Matthew Stafford having a tough night. Took forever, but Jacksonville finally finds the end zone, and they cut their deficit down to 10. Approaching 10 minutes left to go in the third. Finally, the New York Giants find the end zone for the score. They cut their deficit down to five, and to try to make it a three-point game, they take out their Uno cards, <laughs> and they might as well put them shits away, because that ain't work. Ensuing drive, first play from scrimmage for the 49ers in the half. Purdy looking over the middle. He's got Debo Samuel, and look at him shaking through all of the New York Giants, bro. This is ridiculous. This man's yards after catch is just unfair. In a game led by field goals, Myers connects on a 39-yarder through the uprights and good. His fifth on the day. The unstoppable tush push on display again as Jalen Hurts goes into the end zone on the QB sneak for the score. Over in the nation's capital, Sam Howell's got Got a man in the end zone. Wahoo. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by Tredavious White. The necrophilia continues down in Miami. Hand off to Mostert. Goes into the end zone again. 42 to 13. Broncos getting fucked so bad. They starting to do tricks. Their glutes is self-lubricating at this point. No way Miami scores again, right? And now go Chargers. Go. The Vikings are having an absolutely atrocious start to the season. Kirk family member nowhere to go. Still under duress. Yet another sack. Think fast. Patrick Kermit Broughton Holmes on third and goal, looking into the back of the end zone. Got Travis Kelsey for the score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Taylor Swift losing her mind because she'll be catching Travis Kelsey later tonight. Just look at his face. This is a man who was not prepared for the attention this impending relationship is going to bring upon his privacy. Losers on Twitter already checking their astrology charts. Motherfuckers taking pics of them from behind their vehicle. But one way or another, I would love to get more Taylor of Swift content than Brittany Mahomes because don't ever forget that it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes on touchdown passes. Why? Because it's free real estate. Somebody read Taylor's lip. She said, let's fucking oh. Back to Las Vegas we go. Porn star Jimmy G play action fake. Got an eternity to get rid of the football. So instead, he throws it to Patrick Peterson. And the old washed man has his 35th interception of his career. The most amongst active players. Third and 20 for the inferior Josh Allen. Only leading by two scores. Launches it down the field. Intercepted by the commanders. And now go Chargers. Go. Think fast. Time for a little bit of trickery. James Herbo over to Keenan and Kel Allen. Over to Mike Williams, wide open, touchdown judges. They fool the Minnesota Vikings, and they lead by two scores. Tennessee getting cooked, hand off to Ford, finds his way into the end zone for his second score of the day, 20-3. to three. What 
are the Titans doing? OH IO handoff. Come on, Joe! Mixon takes it into the end zone for the score. Touchdown, Cincinnati has their first lead of this game. Back to Miami we go. Here come the Broncos. Russell Wilson's gonna dump it off to Cortland Sutton. The hemorrhoids is on display, but the anal fissures is on the way. Another fumble from Sutton, forced by Holland, recovered by the defense, and it's gonna be Miami football again. Ever since getting screwed in the Super Bowl, looks like Wilson has had a vendetta. His second interception of the day, it wasn't pass interference in the Super Bowl, but he's got two picks on Stafford. Back to Kansas City we go, and when you lose him by 41, you might as well go for it on fourth down, and Justin Fields throws it absolutely nowhere. You fucking suck! Following a Jacksonville field goal, they're going to have to boot it back to the Houston Texans. It's going to be picked up by Andrew Beck. I don't even think he was supposed to return the damn ball. Makes a couple of Jaguars miss. He's off to the races. One man to beat. Oh, I missed. He don't got the speed to make it to the end zone, but stiff arms and nincompoop goes in for the score. It's a 14-point game again. Look at the replay. Did that last man dirty, disregarded his existence, and fought it on him. Pittsburgh on the move once more. Play action fake for Pickett. Looking into the end zone, he's got Pat Fryer mute, and the Steelers have scored 23 unanswered points. Where did this offense come from? Philadelphia dominating down in Tampa Bay. Play action fake for Jalen Hurts. He's looking to go down the field, and he's got a man. Yoink. But he plays for the other team. Spectacular interception for the Bucks. It took over 40 minutes, but for the first time this afternoon, Kenneth Luke Skywalker III finds the end zone for Seattle. I wonder what Tampa Bay did after the interception. They clearly don't understand that you can't shoot bullets with your gun on safety. Two for your mistakes. The fuck they doing out there? Take out the starters, send in the scrubs. Gabbard and at quarterback pass intercepted. The Bears have finally done something positive, and it came against Kansas City's second unit. And now no charges, no. Fourth and six from the 36, and the Vikings are going for it. And Kirk family member finds Osborne wide open, dives into the end zone for the score. Vikings cut the deficit down to four. Who gives up touchdowns on fourth and six? So I take it. Fourth and four for the boy. Dick takes the snap, trying to extend the drive. Rolling towards his right, throws it into the end zone. Pass sales incomplete. Turnover on downs. Pete Carroll is having a senior citizen moment in Seattle. Mans is losing his mind out there. You're 72, oldest coach in the NFL. Why are you out there throwing your gum onto the turf, old man? Wait a minute. If we ever cross paths in real life and we took a photo together, make sure you shoot an email to contact at chiseledadonis.com. I'm compiling all the photos of all of my supporters throughout from 2016 up until now that has taken a photo with me so I can put you guys on the backdrop of the merch website. So make sure you send a photo of us together to contact at chiseledadonis.com. I look forward to seeing you. Back to Jacksonville we go, and the struggle continues for the Jaguars. Pass intercepted. Sunshine Trevor Lawrence is not having a good time. Here comes Mr. Sunshine. Thank God we could check in on Desmond Ritter, and he's finally safe. The offensive line's protected. Ah! He's gonna die tonight. He's gonna die. Over in Meth Life Stadium, the fans look like they taking meth. This dude is so fed up with Zach Wilson, his motherfucking teeth is falling out his mouth. Thank the Lord, the Falcons ain't give up a sack on this play. Instead, they threw an interception as it was ricocheted and intercepted by the Lions. They can't do nothing today. And now, no charges, no. Third and nine for Jay Herbo. Man thought he could throw the football down the field. He swiped of the ball, fumbles on the play, he gets it back. The slaughter continues in Miami. To a tongue on the areola, looking towards his left, he's got Raheem Mostert, breaks a tackle, stays inbounds, goes into the end zone again. Touchdown Dolphins, 49 to 13. Broncos getting cooked so bad, this has gotta be a form of cannibalism. How you losing like this? Your butt cheeks don't hurt, no way you let him score again, right? Let's check on porn star Jimmy G. <sighs> God damn. Broncos country. Let's ride. Russell Wilson's pass ricocheted and intercepted by the Dolphins. They take the ball back again. Ain't no fucking way. Broncos out here looking like NPCs. No way you getting cooked like this. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. 
final play of the third quarter. Lamar Jackson takes the snap, third and one, going to use his legs just like he did in the first quarter, takes it into the end zone himself. Ain't nobody to throw the ball to. Might as well do it on your own. Cowboys building momentum. Dobbs takes the snap. Micah Parsons with the sack. They're going to be forced to punt. The Lions not having an explosive day on offense, but Goff been cooking up until he decided to flip the fire on himself. Throws an interception straight to the Falcons. End of the third quarter in Green Bay. Nice 17 point lead you got there, New Orleans. No way you guys blow it, right? To the fourth quarter we go. Tennessee's offense doing a whole lot of nothing. Ryan Tannehill cannot escape the Browns' pass rush. Miami continuing the necrophilia because to a tongue on the areola, another shovel pass to Devon. Get the touchdowns. A chain goes in for his third on the day, and the Broncos' buttholes gotta be bleeding. He's burning the kitchen down. Carolina trying to cut the deficit down to one score. They find the end zone. It's a two-point game. Backed up inside their own 10-yard line. Ryan Tannehill just narrowly remembers that you can't shoot bullets with a gun on safety. He's sacked again by Miles Garrett. He got three and a half sacks on just today. What the hell happened to Jalen Hurts? I guess they didn't go for the tush push. The Jets' offensive sideline not looking good right now. Coaches going at players. Players going at coaches. Nobody going at Zach Wilson. That motherfucker milk hunter needs to be removed fourth and five for the falcons desmond ritter still can't find anybody look guys the bears scored wow baker mayfield's gonna have to pull a miracle out of his ass if he wants to make a comeback looking over the middle mike evans with a magnificent one hand catch at the 30 yard line look at the hands man's rode the slide on an eagles defender shoulder pad. they getting cooked right now but that man just sexed that secondary and now go chargers go minnesota's offensive line refusing to protect for kirk cousins he's gonna be taken down for yet another sack seattle would answer right back and cut the panthers momentum Kenneth Luke Skywalker the third goes into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day Seattle makes it a two possession game again and now no charges no second and long and Kirk family members gonna make the charges pay looking over the middle he's got Justin Jefferson and he's off to the races into the end zone for the score the Vikings take the lead Los Angeles is choking again hit the music <laughs> Travis Kelsey needs to hurry up and grow out his beard because this mustache got him out here looking like he's an undercover police officer participating in a drug bust at a trap house. Here comes Mr. Sunshine. Trevor Lawrence trying to be captain, come back once more, looking towards the end zone, got his man wide open. Touchdown, Christian Captain Kirk. Back to the nation's capital, and it looks like necrophilia is beginning here as well. Josh Allen dials up voicemail, calls his own number, goes into the end zone on his own volition. Touchdown, Bills, 23 to zero. Meanwhile, it looks like the Saints done forgot how to play football, and Green Bay's coming alive. Look at this catch by this man. Dube's got hands. All right, so boom. For those who do know or don't know, I'm currently internet's most wanted as it pertains to posting content. I'm currently blocked at the time of this taping on YouTube for the 45th time. That equates to 12 months since I came onto the platform. That's an entire year. Moreover, across all social media platforms, I've been blocked 91 times with countless different channels removed. I'm on my fourth TikTok. I don't even want to tell you to go over there because they might just remove that one. I got blocked on Pornhub and Linktree. Link tree so make sure you follow me across all social media platforms so instagram and twitter at chiseled adonis facebook at chiseled adonis reloaded and i opened up six new channels four on youtube chiseled adonis gaming chiseled adonis reactions chiseled adonis uncut and chiseled adonis clips and now i'm on kick and twitch because i'm trying to get into the streaming business all right so follow me on kick at chiseled adonis and on twitch at the chiseled adonis because somebody took the chiseled adonis name but one way or another make sure you follow me across all social media platforms because the moment they take me off for good, I'm gone. Who you know got blocked on Linktree? Who? That's crazy. Help a brother out. Drop a follow.
back to Cincinnati. O-H-I-O! Come on, Joe! Oh, no! Leaping interception by the Los Angeles Rams. They take the football away. And then they'd proceed to do absolutely nothing with the football because Matthew Stafford's still getting assaulted back there. Meanwhile, back in the nation's capital, Sam Howell rolling towards his left. He's got a man. Yoink. But he plays for the other team. That's the most disrespectful interception I've seen all week. And it's taken to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The commanders were frauds in this bitch. 30 to 0. The Jeffrey Dahmer necrophilia challenge begins out in the nation's capital. Because the commanders may be dead. But somehow they're still getting fucked. Derek Carr would have to leave the game. Insert Jameis Crab Legs Winston, and he's going to be sacked at the 20. Detroit looking for the knockout blow. Jared Goff keeps it himself, goes into the end zone. 20 to 3 is the lead. Falcons are down and out. Third and 18 for Matthew Stafford. Still nowhere to go. He's under duress, even on a three man rush. He's going to throw it towards his right. Kyrene Williams would pick up 17 yards, but he'd still be marked down by contact. So this would be ruled a sack. He's getting and destroyed back there. Somebody call the medic. He's on his knees because the Bengals are face fucking that offensive line. After that spectacular one hand catch, Mayfield would pay off Mike Evans in the end zone for the score, his 84th touchdown of his career, and Tampa Bay has cut it down to two scores because they pulled out their Uno cards and told the Eagles to for their mistakes. Sit the starters down, bring in the backups, and Mike fucking White going deep down the field. He's got Robbie Chosen wide open and he's gonna run into the end zone cooking Patrick Sertan touchdown Dolphins it don't matter if it's starters bench players fans everybody's scoring on Denver Denver out here getting fucked by every possible angle they use blood as their lubricant Miami dropped a 60 piece on their heads but there's no way they score again right let's ride let's ride Broncos. let's ride Perfect. Okay. One more time, Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country. Every time Jacksonville tries to cement their comeback, Stroud finds a man wide open. He's got Dell who goes all the way into the end zone for the score. It's a three possession game again. And all you had to do was find a wide open man, CJ. And let it be known, in this game, Stroud would pass Cam Newton for the most pass attempts without an interception to start a career. After the touchdown, Miami's going to kick it off to Marvin Mims all the way back at the one-yard line. This got to be like his eighth kickoff return, whatever the case may be. He weaves his way towards the left-hand side of the field, off to the races. Nobody's going to catch him. He's going 99 yards into the end zone for the score. Did this help Denver come back and win, though? Absolutely not, because on the very next drive, Devon, get the lubricant. A-Chain gets the toss. He's off. Off to the races, heading into the end zone for his fourth touchdown on the day. 70 burger on the goddamn Broncos. Nobody scored this much points since 1966. 70 points up by 50. The Broncos' entire franchise needs to be nuked. And now go Chargers, go. 8-11 left to play. Chargers still trailing by three. Jay Herbo looking towards the end zone. Pass ricochet. Caught and back into the end zone for the score off of the broken play and Palmer gives the Chargers the lead. Wait a minute, it's fall season and you know what that means. It's officially sweater weather and I have restocked the hoodies on chiseledadonnashop.com just for you. It took forever, 18 months, but the inventory is finally here and I introduced three new hoodies for the Chiseled Adonis definition, the Hold My Nuggets logo, and also from the east to the west and of course the Cardarius Tony special. What happened to his hands are fully restocked alongside the most popular item. Put your motherfucking head back down. So head over to chiseledadonnashop.com and grab your hoodie. Let the world know your affiliation. 50-yard field goal from Justin Tucker to give Baltimore the lead. The kick is going to be through the uprights, and it's good. After both teams had reached a stalemate, Joshua Dobbs looking towards his right. He's got Marquise Brown for the score. Hit the music. Say goodbye, say goodbye to Hollywood. Say goodbye, say goodbye to Hollywood. Say goodbye, say goodbye to Hollywood. Say goodbye, say goodbye to Hollywood.
Las Vegas on the move. Jimmy G taken down for the sack, but there's laundry on the field. Personal foul, roughing the passer on Minka Fitzpatrick sack. The referees believe that he ear holed Jimmy G despite the fact that he turned his head into where the contact would be at. I've said time and time again, the NFL is getting softer and softer. This is getting ridiculous. Fourth and goal, Green Bay still looking to take their receipt to the sperm bank and get their comeback. Jordan Love goes into the end zone. First touchdown for Green Bay. They cut their deficit down to seven. Meanwhile, in Cleveland, they're looking to take the dead Namek into the funeral home and put the nail in the coffin. Watson finds Cooper wide open. They get their touchdown. They were denied earlier. 27 to three. Titans got cooked. Okay, finally, Desmond Ritter is safe. Not on my watch. His body about to look like a well-cooked piece of oxtail by Wednesday. Man's gonna have his meat slipping off the bone. 49ers looking for the knockout punch. Brock Purdy launches it towards the end zone. He's got Debo Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers. Pack the Giants up. Oh, shit. Here come Debo. Who? Debo. The Raiders would take advantage of the fresh set of downs. Porn star Jimmy G finds Devontae Adams again, their second link up of the day. And finally, they answer the 23 unanswered by Pittsburgh. And then they take out their Uno cards and give them two for their mistakes. It's a miracle. Zach Wilson drives the Jets all the way down the field. And for the first time, they find the end zone and cut their deficit down to three. Fourth and seven, but they forgot to block for Andy Dalton. He's going to be taken down for the sack. Broncos country, let's ride. They should have streamed this game on Pornhub the way the Broncos getting fucked out there. Hey, you want to uh, split this Subway sandwich? It is my signature sandwich. It's called the Danger Witch, and it's dangerously good. Be careful, though. It's spicy. Shut your bitch ass up. Back to Seattle we go, and the Seahawks are looking for the knockout punch. Hand off to Charbonnet, and it's time to baptize a motherfucker. Look at the truck on that man. He sent that man out the club. Nearly knocked the skin off that boy. He almost came out his shoulder pads. Look at the cameraman. Followed every angle of that man getting his soul taken. He got trucked from the east to the west. Back to the east. Back to the west. Hey, look, guys, Justin Fields led the Bears down the field against the third string Chiefs, and they scored a touchdown. They scored a touchdown, guys. Wow. Did this help them come back in window? Absolutely not. The Bears are who we thought they were. Stinking, steaming, stinking pile of great A monkey crap. As Andy Reid passes the legendary Tom Landry for fourth all time in most career wins. Second and goal for Seattle. Play action fake for Geno. Back in the end zone. Got his man participating in the 10 toes down challenge. Touchdown Seattle. And then on the two point conversion to make it a three possession lead. Geno Smith extends the play. Running away from Carolina Panthers. Rifles it into the end zone. And it's going to be caught. How the hell did the Panthers break that up? 17 point lead. How the hell are the Broncos still on the field? Fourth and 15 for Russell Wilson. Rolling towards his left. Rifles it towards the end zone. Nobody's there. Then to make matters worse, the Dolphins had an opportunity to kick a field goal at the end of the game that could have given them 73 points. The most scored since the Chicago Bears in the 1943 NFL Championship. But they chose not to do it. One way or another, the Broncos got punched 70 to 20. They lost by 50. You call yourself professionals? Sean Payton was talking trash about Nathaniel Hackett last year only to come out here and get his ass has clapped for four straight quarters. Mike McDaniel used to be the Broncos ball boy, and then he made y'all deep throat his balls, boy. All the high hopes and preseason predictions had the Broncos making a playoff push, and they already been eliminated from playoff contention, losing by 50 in week three. Forget putting them on the L train. They need to go somewhere different by themselves. Put them into the pit of death. Demote them from the NFL. Send them to the XFL, USFL, maybe the defunct AAF, or even NFL Europe. Get them the fuck out of the league. Spent the entire offseason talking about Broncos country. Let's ride. How about Broncos country? Let's die. Because they need to be written down in the death note because this season will have already been deleted. You got
goddamn bombs. Over to San Francisco we go. Third and 17 for Daniel Jones. Pass ricochet. Intercepted by Hifanga. Take the L out of Lava. This game is over, brother. Had Debo looking like a child that had to be consoled after his team got cooked. Third and goal for Dallas. Needing a touchdown here. Dick looking over the middle. Pass intercepted by the Cardinals. And Arizona pulls off the upset. They host the Cowboys and hand them an L. Their first of the season. No, 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 no. What happened? What happened? We went to Arizona. They were 0-2. How we lose the game? Dick, Dick. What are we doing? What are we doing? Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, man. Man. No, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Sports just got that much bigger and better because Underdog Fantasy is doing something absolutely unprecedented. They are introducing a $500 deposit match for first new time users. Let me tell you something right now. Before, they would match your first time deposit up to $100, but now up to $500. That means you put $250, they'll give you $250. Put $350, they'll give you $350. Put $500, they'll give you $500. That means you could start with $1,000 and half of it not even yours. So for all new users, do me a favor. Click the link in my description. Download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code Adonis and participate in this $500 status match because I don't know how long this offer will last, but make sure you take advantage before it's too late. For Green Bay, they had gone for two after scoring their initial touchdown. Jordan Love finds his man back shoulder. Touchdown Packers. They take the lead. 18 unanswered points. And now go Chargers. Go! Fourth and goal for the Vikings. Kirk family member takes the snap, looking to give his squad the lead. Pass is broken up. Laundry on the field, but it's against the Vikings. The Ravens need a couple of first downs to ice this game, but the Colts don't give a shit. Lamar's taken down for the sack. They're going to be forced to punt. The Jets trailing by three. Third and 15 for that motherfucker, Milk Hunter, Zach Wilson. He's going to be taken down in the end zone. And look at him, laying there, looking like a bitch because he doesn't and know that you can't shoot bullets with your gun on safety two for your mistakes woo woo clitoris alert clitoris alert woo woo clitoris alert clitoris alert woo 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 the Raiders are trailing by eight on third and four. Jimmy Garoppolo's pass would sail incomplete. So anybody with a brain would go for it on fourth down when you're losing by eight. Instead, they decide to kick a field goal. The only team in NFL history to ever make this decision. Let's check back in on Matthew Stafford. What are the Rams up to? Absolute no protection as usual. He gonna request a trade by the end of this week. The necrophilia continues out in Washington because the commanders may be dead, but they're still getting fucked. They losing 37 to zero. Let's check back in on Desmond Ritter. Second and 10. Good God, Butterfingers bubble on the play, scooped up by the Lions. Take the L out of lover. This game is over, brother. Falcons got cooked. Ritter's gonna die. Internal bleeding is guaranteed. Third and seven for the Colts. 70s porn star mustache, Gardner Minshew pulling a Dan Orlovsky. Mans doesn't know you can't shoot bullets with your gun on safety. Not only was he sacked in the end zone, this nincompoop actually stepped out of boots before the sack even happened. Two for your mistakes. And now go Chargers, go. Chargers looking to put this game on ice. Third and 10, Jay Herbo finds Keenan Allen for a nine yard gain. And with this catch, he's got 18 catches, over 200 yards, and he becomes the second receiver since Jerry Rice. With 10 catches, 100 plus receiving yards, and a 40 yard touchdown pass in a single game. Mans was cooking all day, but on the very next play. And now no Chargers, no. Woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert, woo, woo. Clitoris alert, clitoris alert, woo, woo, woo. Why does Brandon Staley keep doing this? Fourth and one from your own 24. Why would you go for it when you're up four points? That makes no sense. Punt the football. The Vikings have no timeouts. 
and I understand the thought process. A first down ends this game, and it's only one yard. But why take the risk? You've done this on two different occasions over the course of the past three years. All of them have failed. You don't have the success rate to do this. Trailing by 17, three possession game. The Panthers need a miracle. Adam Thielen in the end zone for the score. But Carolina's got to ask themselves, did the touchdown help them come back and win, though? Absolutely not. Onside kick recovered by Seattle, and they lose. Drop down to 0-3. Seattle's moving on to 2-1. Game on the line in Green Bay. 46-yard field goal for the win. Sailing wide to the right. No good. Saints lose. Comeback complete. Jordan Love into the fourth quarter, trailing 17-0. Puts up 18 unanswered points, and Green Bay is on to 2-1. The Rams drive down the field, third and goal. Stafford looking left. He's got the ballerina. 2-2 at well in the end zone. Wide open for the score, but there's only 103 left on the clock. They've got to recover the onside kick, and it's picked up by the Bengals, and the Super Bowl rematch goes to the team needing vengeance as the Cincinnati Bengals pick up their first victory of the season, 19-16. 53-yard field goal for the tie for Indianapolis booted through the uprights, and it's good. Ensuing drive, 20 seconds left to play, first and 10. Lamar Jackson rolling towards his left, takes a terrible sack. The Raiders got the football back, but they're out of timeouts. Porn star Jimmy G looking towards his left, pass intercepted by Levi Wallace. Take the L out of lover. This game is over, brother. Pittsburgh wins two in a row, takes Las Vegas down for the second year in a row, and move on to two and one. 12 seconds left to play, first and goal. Kirk family member Cousins over the middle, pass ricochet, and intercepted by the Chargers. Game is over, despite the fact that Brandon Staley wanted to blow it. The Chargers defense comes up clutch, and for the first time this season, the Chargers eat victory. But for the Vikings, they're at 0-3. And now go Chargers, go. 61-yard field goal for the greatest of all time. Justin Tucker for the win has participated in the Frank Estanza Challenge. He stopped short. He missed. He missed. We're going to overtime. Game on the line for that motherfucker, Milf Hunter Zach Wilson, needing a Hail Mary in order to win this game. He's going to launch it towards the end zone. The pass is going to be ricocheted and out right of the reach of Randall Corn on the cob. The Patriots have won their first game of this season. The Jets fall. This got to be absolute pain for Randall Cobb because look how close he was to the ricochet of the football. It was right there, but he did not react in time. As the Lolly Lou lay low, walk into Meth Live Stadium and walk out with the victory. To the extra period we go. Indianapolis wins the toss. They take the football. The 70s porn star mustache Gardner Minshew is going to be taken down for a sack on first down. They would be forced to punt because they do absolutely nothing on the drive is going to be fielded by Devin Duvernay makes a couple of people miss returns the punt inside Indianapolis territory and now we've entered sudden death three plays later Lamar's pass sails incomplete shockingly enough Harbaugh doesn't go for it they punt it deep to Indianapolis Minshew lets it fly for Pittman and he tells two Baltimore Ravens to hold his nuggets and suck his dick. No helmet, no problem. Four plays later, fourth and one. They'd be participating in the Frank Costanza challenge, cuz. Mm, I stopped short. Fast forward, fourth down for the Ravens again. This time they go for it. Lamar's pass sales incomplete. No laundry on the field. Colts get the football back. Hand off to Moss. Takes it inside Ravens territory. Third and five. Colts running out of time. Moss can't pick up the first down, but takes them to field goal range. Time to send in the queer. Matt homosexual. 53-yard field goal in overtime to win in Baltimore. Through the uprights and... And it's good. The Colts pull off the upset. Baltimore's undefeated no more. Lamar Jackson and his team of injured reserves cannot get the job done as the Indianapolis Colts tell the Baltimore Ravens to join the Giants, Falcons, Vikings, Saints, Jaguars, Titans, Commanders, Jets, Panthers, Bears, Cowboys, Raiders, Buccaneers, Rams, and even the lost souls of the Denver Broncos goes in taking out their metro car and getting aboard the L train. You lose. Failure. Get the fuck out of here. What's
What's for dinner? Fresh hot ales. You lose. Good day, sir. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.